back everyone, Mariah here and in today's video I'm giving you an update on my BlockFi loan that I took out just about a month ago because my very first payment is due on that loan and today we are going to figure out together how to pay that loan. So what makes BlockFi loans different from Nexo loans is that Nexo doesn't necessarily make you pay them back by a certain time. You just have to maintain basically an amount that you can still take out as a loan. But another thing to take into consideration is that on Nexo, the amount that I owe in interest goes up like a cent or two cents every day. So you're kind of, what it seems like is that you're actually paying interest on the interest. So it compounds in a sense, basically, but the opposite also takes place because you get paid out interest daily. So the difference between BlockFi and Nexo is that you never, you have a running balance of what you owe, but Nexo never makes you pay it back unless you don't have enough, basically like credit on your account. BlockFi, you have to actually go in there and set up to do the monthly payment back. So you can see here that I have an outstanding loan of $61,200. I put up Ethereum to take out this loan and also too, when you take out a loan through Nexo, it's instant. If you get USDC or a stable coin, you get those funds immediately. With BlockFi, I wanna say it took a day and a half or two days. You can see here the collateral that I used for that $61,000 loan was 68.59. And you can see here the loan to value ratio is 37%. And I opened up that loan on March 20th. So you could see here that I have a lot of room for Ethereum to go down to still remain that loan to value ratio. You can see here in my starting collateral, obviously of 68.59, current collateral is the same. You can see here, your loan is in good health. However, if the price of Ethereum falls to $1,274.65, margin call will be triggered and your collateral could be sold if the price of Ethereum falls to $1,000. $115.32. So if the price of Ethereum was to drop to those amounts, then they would start selling my Ethereum as collateral. Um, but I'd also have the option to fund my account and add more Ethereum, uh, basically raising that amount. You can see here that my monthly payments are $487.50. I pay that monthly for 12 months. And then after 12 months, I owe the full amount back of $61,200. You can see here that my interest rate is 9.75%. Honestly, for some reason, I thought it was lower. I thought I did a higher loan to value ratio. But you can see here that if you need uh, additional funds, you can, re can refinance your loan. Please note, we can only refinance loans with your loan to value ratio is less than 35%. So I'd probably have to add more Ethereum to go ahead and do that. So paying off the loan, partial payback, you can pay back a portion of your loan at any time. This will reduce the amount of interest you pay on a monthly basis. Full payoff, you can pay off your entire loan balance at any time. For loans with monthly payments, you will only pay the interest occurred through the date you pay it off. So if I want to pay this off early, then I will know, uh, basically there's no penalty if you go ahead and pay it off early. I might consider actually adding more Ethereum to bring my loan to value ratio down because I think I could get this loan down to as low as about four and a half percent. So you can see here that basically BlockFi uses Scratch when it comes to the whole process of the loan. So when you receive the documents and the mail, you're going to see this company Scratch. I don't know the exact partnership. I don't know the details, but clearly that's what BlockFi uses when it comes to the entire loan process. So it's been about a month since uh, I took out that loan. On the 19th, they sent me this email saying that your due date for your BlockFi personal loan is fast approaching. Log in to schedule a payment, set up auto pay and more. So basically my due date is April 22nd. It shows my amount. I'm gonna go ahead and log in uh, to go ahead and start the process. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to pay this through BlockFi or I might have to make a scratch account. Honestly, we're learning this all together. So what I did was I put in my email and then they are going to send me a code to verify my email. It's been a couple minutes. The email hasn't come in yet. This is not part of the plan. We'll keep on waiting. Patience is a virtue. Now I'm gonna try my phone number since, I'm gonna try my phone number since uh, the email part didn't work. Okay, so the email was taking way too long, so I went ahead and just put in my phone number to verify and get into the Scratch account. Hi, Mariah, we're Scratch, your loan guide. 
We've teamed up with BlockFi to help you manage and pay off your loan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right, we'll set up the tools and information you need to make your loan repayment as simple as possible to get started. Please check the information below. Yes, this looks great. Clickety click, agree and agree, sign my life away. I think setting up auto pay is the way to go. So it gives you the option to go ahead and link a bank account. Uh, you can go ahead and add one below. Add a new bank account, connect bank account. I'm gonna go ahead and use, actually, I'm not gonna tell you which bank account I use. I already give you guys enough information <laughs> about all my personal information. So I gotta keep some things private, you know? Okay, so they're not going to let me use the bank that I originally wanted to use. Let's see if I have other options. All right, so I finally got into my, uh, uh, my banking. I connected my banking. Now I'm gonna verify again through my email address. I'm gonna submit that code that I got through my email to verify my bank account. I'm gonna select which account I want. 497.25 will be automatically withdrawn from your account on May 22nd, 2021. So that's for next month. Make a one-time payment for your current installment. So current installment. So basically auto pays on for my next installment. Make a one-time payment for your current installment. But how do I do that? <laughs> Let's see here. Go back to scratch. Update auto pay, auto pay is already on. So I'm gonna go back to make a payment. Amount due, continue, finalize payment. You made a payment of $497.25. It can take a few minutes for the payment to show on your online account. You'll receive an email once your payment has been processed. Ta-da, that is complete. My preference would have been to actually use some of my Ethereum that I had within my block by to make the payment, but Unfortunately, they don't let you do that. So personally, I like Nexo better when it comes to paying off because I think it's easier. I don't have to like sell my crypto, pay the fees, and then transfer that to my bank and then make sure it's there for when they do the auto pay. With Nexo, you can basically use crypto to pay off or stable coins to pay off your loan, which I really like that process. So, and within uh, Nexo, you can actually make trades so that you can, if it basically with all the available ways of payment, you can just switch in between cryptos. So this is what's interesting is that you can see 481 went to my interest, $16 went to my principal. To be honest with you, I thought it was 100% going to interest and that I owed all of the principal basically at the end of the year, but that's not the case. My payment is pending, but I am covered for this month. Auto pay is now on. I don't have to think twice about it. My interest rate is 9.75, which I don't like. I'm considering putting more collateral up because I think I can get that down to four and a half percent, which is what I would prefer. So that's the situation there. That is all I have for you today when it comes to paying back your BlockFi loan. So now you know the process, how it's done, and that you can't necessarily pay directly with your crypto to pay off the loan. So BlockFi uses a different approach. And they use obviously the third party um, scratch to go ahead and take care of everything. And that's it's still like a bank, right? Nexo feels like you're kind of avoiding the bank and BlockFi feels like the bank's still involved. So that's all I have for you today. Make sure to check out my links down below. That is one way that you can support my channel by signing up for the BlockFi credit card or BlockFi itself or Webull or all those other options, Coinbase. That's all I have for you today. As always, go out there and create a portfolio that you love.